What's good YouTube? This video will go over Apple's response to some of the overheating issues that have been reported on the latest version of the iPhone, like the iPhone Pro Max. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So it looks like Apple has officially tackled the overheating issues with the iPhone 15 series and it looks like they've determined that it's a combination of software bugs and specific app behaviors that have been contributing to the problem. Apple has made an announcement that it's going to release a new version of iOS 17 that will hopefully address some of this. They're also engaging with developers to try to get to the bottom of which applications are exerting undue strain on their devices. This comes in the wake of a lot of reports that users of the iPhone F Pro and the Pro Max models have to have temperatures going above 43 degrees. This statement from Apple shows that there are been able to get to the bottom of what is causing these higher and warmer temperatures. And Apple is starting to update the recently refreshed iOS 17 operating system. Apple has also announced that during the initial times of setup or restoration where you're moving your data, your profile and your apps from your old for iPhone to your new Pro iPhone that there might be an elevation in warmth because of the increased background activity. Other apps and very popular apps like Instagram have also responded as well as they have made adjustments to their application to prevent hopefully any overheating issues with the iPhone 15 series of phones. Other reports of apps like Uber and also games like Asphalt 9 are in the process of rolling out their own updates as reported by Apple as Apple hasn't finalized and, con and finished the recently re the revised version of iOS yet to address these overheating issues. So some of the app developers like Instagram are actually doing it themselves or making adjustments to the apps themselves if you're running them on the iPhone 15. It's worth emphasizing that Apple hasn't released this the release version of iOS 17 yet to address these overheating issues. So you still might be experiencing them on your phone. Leave a message down below if you find that even with the latest version of iOS installed, if you're experiencing any overheating issues, either while you're updating your phone and moving your profile from your old iPhone to your new, new iPhone, or if you're running some of these apps like Instagram and Uber. There are some reports that people believe or speculate that Apple's new chip or excess heat from the new titanium body frame of the iPhone 15 Pro might be contributing to the overheating. However, Apple does appear to have focused more so on certain app behaviors that are causing the overheating. The iPhone 15 was just released on September 22nd and uh, iOS 17 was released shortly after with a, an, an update for iOS 17 shortly after. So we're about a week and a little bit into the life of the iPhone 15 and we're already seeing these issues and these issues being addressed by Apple. So there you have it everyone, just a quick update with a release from Apple on what is causing the overheating and a fix down the road with a revised version of iOS 17. If you have a fix of your own or if you have other unique overheating problems, leave a message down below with your iPhone model type and what kind of problems you're seeing. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.